Today in the Amp Vault, the PV Supreme 160. The PV Supreme is a solid state amplifier made by PV. And if the internet is correct, this is basically a PV bandit in a hat. So I don't know, but what I do know is that we have two channels and we do have a clean channel with a bright switch, a preamp gain, I think this is global, and a four band EQ high, mid, low and present. And we have a distorted channel with two different gain controls. This is kind of like a volume. And this is basically the gain. We do have a gain switch and a shift control. Three band knob uh, EQ, edge body bottom, an effect loop, a reverb and a low gain and a high gain input. On the back there is basically just the speaker inputs. Okay, so let's find out how the EQ curve looks. And we are currently in the clean channel. Everything on noon, bright is not engaged and normal gain around four. And low gain input, so. So we have some huge volume here. Let's first of all let's play around with the EQ. You can actually cut quite drastically. Very subtle mids. Although the cut <laughs> Dude, okay, 500. The highs are actually not as, whoa. Okay, those is, are really effective. And the presence in, seems to be in kind of the same frequency range. Okay, let's engage the bright switch. Okay, in the clean channel, we do have quite bright things. And now let's switch the low gain and the high gain input. Currently, the highest peak is around minus 43. And now we're, well, almost 10 dB more. And now let's engage the distorted channel. Bright shouldn't work. Indeed. So first of all, super saturation. Add some volume, post is volume control as well. And bottom. Very effective. And we can cut the base. <laughs> <laughs> really drastically. Okay. Body. Very effective mid EQ. Centered around 300-350. Okay. Now when we activate gain, wonder what will happen. Okay, a bit more high frequencies. And now let's, well actually, let's reduce the body and then let's activate shift. Okay, it seems to shift the mids to 800.
Okay, nothing more to show you here. So let's find out how the amp actually sounds. For both playthroughs, I will use my custom XTN Fangen 7 string guitar. For the clean playthrough, it's the neck humbucker. And for the distorted playthrough, it's the bridge humbucker. From the PV Supreme, we go into my fractal load box. It's set to the UK setting. And from there, we go into my interface. And there I've enabled Nadir with the Jens Bogren Greasybeard IR. One thing that I should mention before the playthrough is that I think one of the potis needs some contact cleaner or something because the volume dropped off in the clean channel. And actually I did the playthrough two times because in the first time I didn't even notice until uh, the very end. So I redid it and uh, well, you will hear what I mean. So what do you think about this amp? I always thought it was kind of like a bandit in a hat, but I might be wrong about this. Uh, first things first, I think the reverb is a nice addition and the clean channel, when it works on my unit, is kind of cool. It's rather neutral, you can't really get warm sounds out of it, but it can get really bright. So if you're into those kinds of clean stuff, that's for you. The distorted channel, however, I am not sure what I should think actually, because first of all, the EQ is active and that's a huge plus, but it's a huge minus as well, because with just two millimeters of poti turning, you can drastically change the sound overall. And I think in the extreme settings, uh, I even did not show you the extreme settings because it was so unusable. 
and yeah, that's a shame. Um, I mean, why do we have so much range when you can't really use it? Yeah, the shift is a nice addition, drops the EQ or uh, pumps it up, depends on your perspective, and uh, you get some nice sounds. It's more or less a uh, really solid state sounding and uh, you get some huge scooped sounds out of it. That's not my most favorite sound. So I am not sure. But luckily I have you. So write a comment down below in the comment section. What do you think about the PV Supreme? And do you also think that just the one Poti is a kind of rusted or has dirt in it? Or do you think, think something else is broken? Write a comment down below in the comment section. And if you want to support this channel, you might want to consider becoming a YouTube member or you want to check out the links in the description. Well, with this being said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. May the power protect you and have a nice day.